Mike Stanton. It's January 19th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thanks for taking some time today. Hey, Mike. Coming to you from a uh, cold and somewhat snowy northeast today, uh, although I don't think we have much to complain about compared to our colleagues uh, across the uh, Midwest of the country. Um, let's talk a little bit about how the market, uh, you know, warm times in the primary market, uh, despite the holiday week uh, this week, uh, still a pretty strong new issue calendar. What did you see? Yeah, the market's really kind of coming out, uh, coming out of the gates pretty healthy as far as supply goes. Uh, the tone is a little bit weaker than I think a lot of people would like. Uh, we continue to see the market grappling uh, with uh, with rate direction and uh, and timing and speed with which uh, the market expects any sort of rate cuts. Uh, you know, there were some comments early in the week uh, from Fed President uh, Waller. Um, that had the market a, a continuing its cautious tone. Uh, and then some economic numbers this week uh, came in a little bit off the mark that continued to move treasuries back. We saw retail sales a little higher than expected. Uh, housing starts and building permits a little higher than expected. Initial job, jobless claims a little lower than expected. So all in, we've just continued to see the trend uh, this year of, of rates moving higher uh, this week, we saw treasuries drift higher by around, you know, 20, 22 basis points in the front end uh, and around, you know, call it 17, 18 on the long end. Uh, that brings us to, you know, nearly 40 basis points higher in yield in 30 years on U.S. Treasury and 34 basis points higher for the 10 year. Uh, so there's been a fairly healthy adjustment this year. Munis were outperforming and we continue to outperform, but we finally started to see the tax exempt market crack a little bit. Uh, the MMD curve was shifted higher by call it, you know, 10 to 15 basis points, depending on where you're looking. The front end, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more in five years uh, and, you know, more like 12 to 16 basis points out long. And we're expecting a couple more basis point cut this week. Uh, I'm sorry, today uh, before the close of business. Um, but overall, you know, the tone is definitely a little bit weaker, pretty sloppy as far as, uh, you know, secondary bid offer, uh, but a lot of bonds trading, uh, which is a good sign. And as you mentioned, uh, new issue supply, very healthy. We ended up around eight and a half billion, maybe a little over eight and a half billion placed. Um, you know, that was mostly negotiated. The competitive market was pretty quiet this week, mostly tax exempt at 8.1 billion. Um, and BAM had a pretty, uh, pretty active week. Uh, we were used on a $220 million transaction for University of Tennessee student housing, uh, which was placed uh, priced by RBC Capital Markets. Uh, we were also used on a $37 million uh, city of Batesville, Arkansas deal, uh, and then also a $21 million Upper Eagle Regional Water Authority, um, which was uh, which was priced this week as well. And also carried the green bond uh, designation on those Upper Eagle bonds uh, for green bond, green, BAM Green Star transaction of the year. So uh, it was good to see that come across. Um, looking ahead to next week, uh, what are you expecting? Next week, uh, another solid uh, supply week. Uh, so far, calendar is shaking out again, right around in the eight and a half, nine billion range. Uh, competitive market will be up uh, up slightly. We got 2.2 billion expected there. Um, and uh, and for BAM's activity, uh, we're scheduled to uh, be used on $160 million, uh, $160 million deal for Rock Hill Combined Utility District, uh, which is going to be priced by Wells Fargo. Uh, so we're looking forward to that sale. And just like on the uh, on the other side of the coin, we did hear uh, Lippers report uh, the strongest inflows to municipal bond mutual funds in, in several months uh, this week, just a shade under 900 million. So it does seem like demand is there. That's helping to keep uh, the ratios, as you mentioned, the, the outperformance in the muni market versus treasuries so far this year, that that extra demand uh, from the retail side kept uh, those ratios under control. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And that's something that, uh, you know, that the market watches uh, very closely and, uh, you know, will uh, there seems to be, uh, you know, at various points, some some fatigue as far as that goes, uh, you know, as you get ratios lower and lower. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll see how long it can hold on. Eight, eight and a half, you know, billion is, uh, you know, manageable, especially if, uh, if funds are getting inflows, as you mentioned. Um, so, you know, maybe it takes uh, 11 or 12 billion to kind of test uh, demand. But, uh, you know, we're not seeing that just yet. So, uh, so for now, Everything remains, uh, you know, pretty constructive. Very good. Well, thanks for your time, Brian. We'll uh, talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.